we will create labels using a step and repeat layout and dynamic mark sets. Creating grid. I have created an empty PDF file. I will create labels. I will first place the front and back files of the artwork for which I want to do the step and repeat. I choose File, and then Place. I select the front and the back artwork files. I ensure that I select Keep Link to External File to link it to the document. I click Place. I can choose the placement options. In this case, I clip to Trim Box. Placed Art can be found in the Placed Art side drawer. I first select the front label. I can see which inks are used in the linked file here. I click the label name. I see that the cell dimension is equal to the size of the trim box. I can immediately start making a grid by clicking the Make Grid button. I choose the transformation properties. The grid flips to the top because it is attached to the trim box, left top corner. I again click the label name. I rotate the grid by 90 degrees. It detects that there is a cut layer type, and it applies the die shape to it. I press Z to activate the zoom tool, and then zoom to see the die shape. I press Command plus zero to fit the document to the window. I open the grid properties. I apply a one by six count with a gap of two millimeters in both the horizontal and the vertical direction. I will add a clip bleed at two millimeters. I press Z to zoom. I see that it clips along the center line. I press Command plus zero to fit to the window. I choose Grid Properties. I can optionally apply a vertical stagger and choose the Add Partial Stations option to fill the sheet and to get stable plates. But I will not use these settings here. In case I want to hide certain processing steps from being shown here or in the output file, 